You probably know I love creating collage animations. For me, it's comfortable to make any ideas alive or even mix different motion graphics styles. For example, today I will show you how I created this collage style UI animation in After Effects. As always, you can download the After Effects project file linked in the description. For this tutorial, I made everything in After Effects so you could easily follow along without including any other software to the process. So let's start with this floor layer. Let's press P for position properties and add keyframe and move it further in the timeline. This will be the end position. For first position, we need to move that floor down until it's invisible to create our first animation. Now select chair layer and press Y and move the anchor point down. Then press R, hold shift and press P to access both rotation and position keyframes. Add keyframes and move them further to align with the floor layer keyframes. Drag the chair up to create position animation. Now add one more rotation keyframe to the beginning. Move it further, copy that keyframe and paste it in the middle of both keyframes. Now adjust the value of keyframe in the middle to 4 to create impact animation effect as chair falls. Select all keyframes and press F9 to ease them. Next, let's bring our button layer to action. Create null layer and parent button layers to it. Now move the anchor point of this null layer to the center of the button. Press S to access scale properties and add keyframes for null layer. Select chair layer, press U to reveal all keyframes for matching the timing of button animation we will create. Move the scale keyframe and add first one by adjusting the value to zero. Ease them by pressing F9. Now let's bring the hand layer to action. Place the layer when button animation ends to match the timing. Press P for position properties and add two keyframes. Our hand should appear from right side. Ease the keyframes and go to the graph editor to make it smoother. Now you can place the hand layer even closer in the timeline and let's see how it looks. We already have our basic motion so we can start working on the second phase. I will show you how to make button press animation. For that we will need puppet pins. Choose puppet tool and add points on finger joints. We need them to keep the hand stable when we are animating only specific part, in our case fingertip. Now we need to find this pin on layer properties, so select that pin and open the form and puppet pins. You will see After Effects highlighted that pin already, so we need to add keyframes only for that pin. We need three keyframes, first and last the same as initial position, but one in the middle we need to move manually to create that pressing animation. Now let's adjust the position of the button layers by moving the null layer. Let's put the anchor point for the button layer to the left edge. Here we need to create that pressing effect which we will do by adding scale keyframes. Press S to access it and add three keyframes. First and last the same, one in the middle should be smaller. Now to make it more visible, let's add same keyframes for the null layer, which controls our button layers. Now the pressing effect will look more realistic. These scale keyframes will be important to decide on transition timing. 
Let's bring our chair layer to the action and create a null object to control chair layers. Parent all chair layers to that null. Now we will do the coolest part. Select that null layer and adjust the anchor point by bringing it down. Now press R for rotation properties and again add 3 keyframes, matching our button pressing timing. First and last keyframes without any adjustment, but one in the middle, we are gonna change the rotation value slightly to the right side, so the chair slightly rotates. Press F9 and go to Graph Editor to adjust motion curves for smoother animation. And now, this middle keyframe is where the magic happens, so cut the layer with pressing Ctrl, Shift and D. We now have two chairs transitioning smoothly when the finger presses the button. Select all keyframes, press and hold Alt and drag the keyframes to adjust the timing and achieve smoother transition. Now copy all those keyframes and paste it further to repeat the action for other chairs. Don't forget to copy and paste puppet pins as well. Can't be easier than that, I think, right? Now to finish the animation and create a loop, we need to add keyframes at the end to make the elements disappear from the screen. Copy the last keyframes, paste it near to the end in timeline and add last keyframes by moving the elements away from the screen. Now let's create that impact, bounce effect, when the chair falls. Create null layer again and parent chair null and floor layer to it. Add three position keyframes, same logic again, first and last the same, Move it one in the middle a bit down to create that animation. Match the keyframes with floor and chair we created in the beginning of this tutorial. Now, to make the animation more appealing, I will just cut the floor layer and change their colors as it switches. Also, I added rectangle and changed their colors as well. At the end, I added adjustment layer, applied lumetri color effect to adjust the curves and add vignette. Also, I added posterized time effect to that layer and adjusted frame rate from 24 to 12. At the end, I added rectangle, decreased the opacity and created animation in the beginning and at the end to make this rectangle appear and disappear using only scale properties.
So that's it for this tutorial, I hope you find it useful. The tricks I was showing you are flexible, you can use it in completely different projects. You can also just change the chair layers to something else in this project file. If you want to master collage animation and other motion graphics styles, I'm uploading step-by-step -step tutorials every week, so don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video, and I will see you in the next one.